Hey folks, I am up at the other end of my garden. I was walking through my garden, picked a pea pod, and uh, I just want to say, I've already eaten a pea pod too, so not bad, not bad. So I just want to remind folks that to live the way I do, it's like very, very busy, all right? Some days I do not have time to make a video and throw it up on YouTube. I just don't have time. I live here and I homestead off-grid by myself. I have a part-time job. My full-time is here on my homestead and it is garden season it is wood firewood gathering season things are coming off things have to be thrown in a mesh outside air dryer things need to be canned and there's only so many hours in the day and I'm not as young as I used to be alright so you take any one of those by themselves it makes for a busy and productive day right so you put all those together and you're really busy you're just really really busy now I wanna I wanna remind folks who have been following me and I wanna re I no, I just wanna let people know you new subscribers one new subscriber I had to let go because they thought my channel should be more than what it is. I should be demonstrating all the steps from the time that I pick something out of my garden, prepare it, and put it in the dryer, and then monitor it every single day and make a video. Someone thinks I need to show every, every step in the canning process when I do can. Somebody wants me to show the inside of my home, and they want to me to give them a yard homestead tour. Folks, I am not going to do that. For those of you who have been following me, you know I only film in certain spots. I like my privacy, and I do not have time to fool around with a camera and and film everything that I do and every step that I take here. I do not have time. For those people who put up YouTube videos that do that, I don't know how they do that. If they run a homestead, I don't know how they do that. But kudos to them. You can go watch them, right? So, someone also thought that I wasn't exciting enough. I wasn't showing enough. Well, they didn't say it, but I call it drama. Okay? So, I'm not, I'm not here to put on a show, folks. I am not. I am not here as a college professor. I am not here as a teacher. I, I'm just not, I don't have time to do any of that, right? So, for the person that emailed me from Texas, who told me that they did not know where I lived, that I was... I was gardening that my garden should have been further along than it is now well I don't know why they didn't know where I live if they were paying attention it was hippie chick off-grid Maine right Maine as in the state of Maine up in the Northeast right where we have one growing season and it's very 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 short right 
So being in Texas, I believe they have three growing seasons. So they have enough growing season to uh, grow, let's say, sweet potatoes, right? They have a long enough growing season for that. We do too, if we really baby it. Now, they thought they were going to give me pointers on how I should garden. That's all well and good. I'll take pointers. I'll take suggestions. I will take if you tried this or this is what I do. This will probably work up in your your northern short season. But to not know where I live and tell me that I am gardening wrong after I have been gardening basically all my life. I don't, well, that person doesn't even have a YouTube channel. I checked. But they're going to tell they're going to tell me how to grow my garden when if they have a garden down in Texas they can plop their cell phone right up on on their own Wilson jump in front of it and and give garden tours and and tell how to really garden the proper way so for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. I appreciate you being here. I am not going to show you the inside of my home. I am not going to show you everything in my garden. I am not going to show you everything in my yard. I am not going to give tours of my personal space. Just not going to do that. My videos are not going to be an hour long. I try to keep them short. I cannot go live here. That's been a huge request. But I cannot go live here due to reception. I can record and then when I and I can edit if I feel I need to. And then when I go somewhere where I have internet connection long enough to load up a video, I do that. I don't see and I'll try it, and I already told you folks that I will try it to go live here, but I'm I'm sure it's not going to, I'm sure I'm going to lose reception, we're going to lose connection, I'm going to try to get back on, it's going to be way more trouble than it's worth for me, because I don't like frustration, I like it when things go smooth, not everything goes smooth as we know, but I just ask that you all be patient, I just ask that you all be understanding. I ask that you don't come onto my channel and judge and criticize me just to be, just to do it, all right? If you think certain channels should do this and that, then like I said, you can plop your camera right up on your own Wilson, which is a broken tripod, right? And you can jump right in front of that camera and you could educate the world. And I hope you have time to do that. So, and probably some of you go are going to say that I'm being rude because I'm eating in front of you. My yard, my pee, my YouTube channel. I guess I can do whatever I want, right? Now, for those of you who have been following me that have given me a lot of, a lot of nice support, thank you so much for being here. For those of you who are new, and don't feel you have to judge and criticize. Thank you for being here. Right? My YouTube, my channel, my pee, my mouth, my belly. I can eat. My rules, right? So, put the rest of that in the compost pile. So today I've got to put some food in the outside mesh dehydrator. I have got to can up some meat, put a can of through of meat. I've got to get in my garden. I've got to haul my water. I've got to haul grain. I've got to work on the wood pile. I've got a lot to do. And I don't have time to explain myself in front of YouTube. I just don't have time for that. If this is what it's going to come down to be, and then maybe I will stop doing YouTube for a while because it really does take time out of my day but we'll see 
we'll see. All right. So life's too short to judge. And if you've got room enough to judge, I hope you are way ahead in the game. I hope you've got your food put up. I hope your garden is absolutely picture perfect. No weeds. Because <clears throat> the time that you took take out to email me, you could have been pulling weeds in your garden. You could have been harvesting your garden. You could have been doing this or that. So you pay attention to you, and I will pay attention to me. Now, some will respond. Don't pay any mind to those people. Just don't let it bother you. I'm not letting it bother me, folks. I'm really not. But I am going to tell you what happens behind the scenes. And you teach people how to treat you, right? Now, if I... If they email me and I ignore the email and mark it as spam so they can't bother me again, thank you again for that tip, then they're going to continue to do that. Others are going to continue to do that, and they may anyway. But if I teach people how to treat me, I ask you not to do that. No judging, no criticism. You tend to you, I tend to me. You live your life, I'll live my life. What works for you works for you. What works for me works for me. But if I don't address that, then it's going to keep happening. And if it keeps happening, I'll take another step from there. All right? So I am going to teach people how to treat me by doing a video. Please don't do this and that. All right? Thank you.